Before we start the video, subscribe to Trapdoss. We made our second collab. Go check that out and watch his cool Warzone video. Also, sorry if I did sound a bit dead inside. I had to uh, record this the third time because for some reason my microphone started to bug out and glitch like a fucking maniac. Alright, on to the video. Now I know I'm a bit late to this topic, especially when it was a few weeks ago, but it's easy to make a video when both the reveal trailer and gameplay is falling out in the public. So if you don't know what Saints Row is, it's a crazy open world game and it started to be even more crazy when Saints Row 3 came out, which is the first Saints Row game that I played. Then I played Saints Row 4 and it was full of references, like a lot. Basically a parody at this point. After that I played Saints Row 2 and I immediately fell in love with it. It has that great balance of humor and dark shit. The game is so good that I completed it while playing at 10. FPS. Since we haven't released a new game for quite a while, it's been 8 years which is nearly a decade. I found out about the reboot by screwing down my server list and seeing the Saints Row Discord server logo. I was like wow, that's pretty cool. Then I clicked it and saw the banner showing rebooting over a funny brick wall. I was excited to see that one of my favorite series is finally having a new game. Then I waited for days looking at this funny wall with a funny gravity and finally the funny trailer drop. Wow! The new Saints Row trailer came out. I sure hope nothing goes wrong. Get the fuck away from my friends! I was left confused after watching it, and I'm and I'm not even the only one that's confused. It didn't it didn't feel Saints Row. It's more of a Watchdog 2 vibe, mainly because of the cat cat boy helmet and funny nerd boy. A, a lot of the lines in the trailer just makes me shiver. What the? F a lot of the lines in it really just makes me shiver in sorrow. The orange gang Los Panteros looks pretty cool. They look like a mix of the Brotherhood and the Carnales. The gameplay reveal was cool, but a bit underwhelming. They should have revealed it like how they did with Saints Row the Third, but in this, it's only a few seconds. Most of them were even gameplay is just women. Most of it being footage we already saw, and the artists being evil ones. The gameplay looks cool, and the map is looking clean. Well, not only really clean, since it's a desert. They should have at least done it like Saints Row Three. That it was that was way better than watching women on desert. Fortunately. They have stated that they will reveal the new customization features and more gameplay, teasing the fact that it will be as good as Saints Row 1 or 2, which is very, you know, good. I'm not a big fan of the customization in Saints Row 3. They pretty much just tone it down and making it feel a bit more limited than the older games. They will also show more gameplay than before, and I can't wait to see more. Holy shit, that one. No one knows much of the main cast because not a lot is shown. Nina seems like a cool character. Kevin is a prick. Eli seems to be a mix of Pierce and Dex. I, I do like the idea of them going from teal to purple as they progressively grow while finding their own identity. Very cool evolution. Some of them in the community are saying that black women with short hair is woke or watchdogs hipsters looking characters are pandering to the woke generation. Because that makes sense. They somehow managed to be as bad as Twitter and it's insane. Complaining about Saints Row not having funny adult jokes which is basically just build a bad funny weapon. Exaggerating so hard getting all the fun won't be allowed. That's all for now. Stay safe. Go watch my collab with Trapdoss on his channel.